In this video, I am going to show you how to download and install Iris Shaders for Minecraft Java 1.21.6 on your Mac device. So, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is go to your web browser, and I will have links in the description if you need them. But here, just go to your search bar and search up Iris Shaders, like so. Now enter. And here you'll find Iris Shaders are dev and Iris Shaders. Just click on Iris Shaders, and then you'll be on the Iris Shaders homepage. So from there, just go to the Download Now button, and then go to the Download Universal Jar button. Now you have Iris Shaders downloaded. So here, as this is a .jar file here, you might need to get Java on your Mac to run the installer. So. If you can't run the installer, just go to a new tab, go to your search bar, and search up JDK24. Now enter, and here you'll find Java Downloads here by oracle.com. Just click on the link, and this will bring you to this page here. So here just do accept all, and you'll want to scroll down, and here you'll find JDK24, click Mac OS, and if you have an M chip, click ARM64 DMG, and if you have an Intel chip, Click X64 DMG here. This is the link here to download and install Java. If you have troubles with this, I will have a video in the description showing you the full process. But here, if you are able to now run the installer, everything is good here. So one more thing is, as Iris Shaders is basically meant to be used for shaders, you might want to also get yourself some shaders. Right? So if you want some shaders, just go to a new tab, go to your search bar, and search up mod rent like so. Now enter, and here you'll find modern.com, click on modern, and then you'll be on the modern form page. So from there, just go to discover content on the top of the website, and then you go down to shaders. Now, you'll have a bunch of shaders that you can go ahead and choose from if you want to go ahead and run shaders in Minecraft. So here is a bunch of shaders, and there's like 11 pages of those as well. So I'll just go with the classic here. I'm going to go with BSL, why not? So, if you want to have a shader like VSL, you want to click the name of the shader, and this will bring you to this page here. So here, all you want to do is go to versions, and from there, you want to get the latest release of a shader. Even though it says 1.12.5, just like resource packs, it will work for the new version in most cases. As VSL works for 1.26, we'll get this one. So here, we'll just go ahead and click the green down button, and this is a shader right here. It is a .zip file and you don't need to unzip it, so that is one cool thing with shaders. But here, this is basically what you want if you want to start running shaders in Minecraft on your Mac. So here, once you're done with this, what you can do is minimize or close your web browser. I'll just close mine, and from there, you can go to your finder window. Here, all you want to do is simply go to downloads, and here you'll find your file. So the first thing you want to do here is find iris installer and double click it. It will be blocked as it's a dot jar here, so just do done. And if you want to actually run the file here, just go ahead and go to the top left of your screen to the Apple logo, then click on it, and here you'll find system settings. Click on that, and from there, you want to go ahead and scroll down until you find privacy and security right here. Click on that, and now you want to scroll down all the way to the bottom, and you'll find Iris Installer here. So all you want to do is just do open anyway, then do open anyway, then use a password or touch ID to open the file. So I just used touch ID here, and now what you can do is go ahead and make sure that the game version is 1.21.6, and from there you can just do install. And now you're done. So once you have this, all you want to do is simply close the installer, close settings, and now you can go to your Minecraft launcher. With the Minecraft launcher, we'll just go ahead and add a BSL or any other shader to the shader packs folder. So the way we do this is once you have Iris and Sodium for 1.21.6, all you want to do is go to installations here on the top, then you want to go ahead and hover over Iris and Sodium and go to the folder icon. Here you have a bunch of files and folders, but basically what you're trying to find here is something called shader packs. Here it is, shader packs. So just double click it, and once you're in it, go to your downloads folder, click BSL or your shader, right click, and do copy. Then go to the left facing arrow to go back to shader packs, 
like so. And now right click and paste item. And now you have one shader in your Minecraft install. So here just go back to the Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure Iris and Sodium is your selected version and click play. Here you might have to do Iris and Risks, just do yes and do play again. And now you have to wait for Minecraft to open up. Okay, so once Minecraft has opened up, you can go to a single player world, a server, or a realm. I'll just go to a single player world for this. And from there, you can go ahead and activate the shader if you want to use shader, of course. So here we have a normal Minecraft world, and we are all using Iris shaders because if we go on F3 here, you'll see that we have the sodium renderer and Iris fabric being used. So that is one cool thing to note here. But either way, basically, what you want to do here is if you want to go ahead and activate your shader, all you want to do is simply go ahead and go to escape, then options, then video settings, then here you have the actual sodium features here, but what you want to do is go to shader packs. Now you see BSL, so just go ahead and click on BSL like this, it will darken, and just do apply, and this just applies BSL to your game directly, like so. So now if I just leave everything behind, here you see that we have BSL running, in Minecraft Java 1.21.6 on a MacBook in this case. So yeah, that is how we get shaders and I have shaders working for Minecraft Java 1.21.6 on your Mac device. So if you like today's video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!